I'm Steve and I make everything. But today we're actually going to do some laser alignment. There was an ask in the channel the other day around doing a video on, on alignment. So I thought, well, my laser has been kind of, kind of, I'll say lazy recently. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to, to jump on this and, and really get people comfortable. The, the video here will be a little strange because I'm trying to get a camera wedged into inside my laser while I'm doing test firing, but we'll make the best of it and, and uh, where possible I'll, or where required, I guess, I'll use a couple of illustrations to show you what's actually happening there. So anyway, with that, let's get going. Okay, so before we get started, it's probably worth having a bit of a tutorial of how the laser is actually built. So. We'll start, I'm looking, I have my camera basically placed uh, up on the side of the laser cabinet right above the display, if you want to know the angle you're looking at. So it's really, I'm looking from the right side of the laser. So we have the laser tube and you can see it's fixed mounted. So there's no adjustment there and that will be important later. And uh, the tube itself is full of water. It's the recirculation. Uh, so, but the output end is, is the left hand end here, this, this brass ring on the, on the side is where the beam comes out. And to the kind of left of that we have the, the red dot indicator beam. It's a, like an LED laser, uh, very low power, so it's really just a guide laser. And that goes through a, a beam splitter and you can see most of it if you were kind of looking at this angle and I don't know if you can see it, you can't, but most of the beam goes through and hits the back of the cabinet, but some portion of it gets split off by this beam splitter and goes to the first mirror. Now this first mirror, its sole job is to take whatever the laser gives it at whatever angle it gives it and shoot it down the, the side of the laser to the second mirror, which is down in here. And that, uh, there's very minimal adjustment for the laser itself. So if the laser beam is, uh, you know, really messed up, there's not much you can do. But this mirror's job is to make sure that by the time it comes around this corner, the beam is level and perpendicular with the carriage. So it comes down and hits this second mirror and that mirror reflects it, it reflects the beam over to the laser head here where there's a third mirror and its sole job is to is to change the angle vertically down and it runs down through this lens which uh, you can just kind of see here in the in the image and through the nozzle at the bottom and, and down onto the, the workspace. So in essence, that's the, the laser path. Now, because we can't adjust the laser, every adjustment we could possibly make to get the beam aligned is, is in these three mirrors. Now, the good news is that's enough. We don't need more than that, but it can be a challenge. Now, if you look at, and I'll stick a picture in the video here at the same time, if you look at this first mirror, there's three adjustment screws on it, two on the right and one on the left. The one on the left, this is not a normal kind of traditional adjustment, but uh, so it's a little more challenging, but the one on the left adjusts solely left, right. So it's really that kind of angle. And then the two on the right hand side will adjust up and down. Now, when we do our alignment, we won't touch this mirror initially other than to get it hitting the second mirror over here. And then what we'll do is uh, adjust the, the carriage. We'll take a beam shot here and a beam shot back here. And if, if those two beams end up in the same place on the, on the thermal paper, that means that the laser is both uh, horizontally and vertically aligned. So it's square in both directions, which is perfect. And then we'll do the same thing for mirror two down to mirror three. So we'll put a, a thermal paper on mirror three and, and we'll do the same thing except we'll be moving the, the X uh, orientation of the laser. And for the third, B, the third mirror, the objective there is to get it going straight through the center of the lens and through this, the center of the nozzle down here. And once we get all that done, we'll do a final adjustment on the 
on the red dot to make sure it follows the exact same path and we'll be pretty close to start but but we want it to be exactly right so that when you're down here looking at your material you know that where the red dot is is where the where the laser is going to hit when it when it starts working so that's the quick walkthrough uh, which is enough to, to know how to do an alignment now and that's so that's what we'll get started doing now okay so I got the camera pointed at mirror one in a little more close-up detail and what you can see is the three adjustment screws there's two on the right which control the the left and right and up and also up and down so if you tighten the top one and loosen the bottom one the beam will point upward and vice versa and then there's one on the left which is the uh, left right adjustment this gadget over here is the red dot uh, the red dot laser it's actually a little LED and you can see it also has adjustment this is a more traditional uh, three three point mount so this screw on the upper right will adjust uh, kind of up and down, uh, well, up and to the right and down and to the left, and the other one is the opposite direction. Uh, and you, I would say, don't touch the one in the third corner, but sometimes you may have to to get things adjusted right. So, again, the laser beam is coming out of the laser at whatever angle it's coming out of and all we really care about is that it's hitting that mirror. It doesn't have to be in the center but the way the Muse is designed and it's kind of mechanical assembly it comes out very close to that center anyway so uh, so there's not but there's not much we can do there. So we'll start in mirror two and I'll, let me reposition the camera and I'll show you what we're going to do with mirror two. Okay so I blocked the the, uh, the red dot, we're actually looking at mirror two and you can see I put a, uh, just a piece of filament uh, or of uh, thermal paper. I moved the laser forward and took a single pulse and uh, now I've moved it back to where it is and I'm going to take another pulse and ideally that, that pulse will also be on top of the, the same spot. So let me do a test fire. So here we go. And you can see it's down and to the left a little bit. So we're gonna to wanna to do a bit of an adjustment here. And to do that, I wanna go up and to the right. So the only real reference I have for whether I'm moving the mirrors is uh, the red dot. So let me put, pull my block out there and, and see it again. And what I'd like to do is move that up and to the right by adjusting mirror one. So up would be to take the top screw on the right hand side and tighten it just a bit. Probably a little more actually, so maybe we can loosen the one on the bottom a bit. Okay, so that moved it up. And now we wanna go to the to the right a bit, which is actually left when I'm looking at mirror one. So let me just loosen that out just slightly. Uh, these are all micro adjustments, by the way. And now I'll do another single shot and we should see it a little bit closer. And it's not bad actually. So I think I'm gonna leave it there. The, the beam between mirror one and two is now pretty good. Uh, now we're gonna do the same thing between mirror two and three. So I'm now pointed at mirror three and I put a piece of uh, thermal paper, I actually just moved the one I had. I'll block the red dot again, just to make it easier to see. And first thing I'm gonna do is move the laser over to the left, the closest to the to uh, where mirror two is. I'll close the lid and I'll do a single shot again. And now we'll go back. And if we look, we can see the shot. It's a little high probably, so we might want to drop the beam a bit, but. Uh, we should see that actually if we if we take another shot here, 
We should see what what happens to it. And it appears to be right on top of it, actually, which seems strangely coincidental. So let me just put another uh, another piece of thermal paper here just to make sure. Okay, so I just put another piece of paper on top of that one and we'll do another test fire. And you can see it, it's right on top of the, the previous one. So clearly the, the mirror three, mirror two to mirror three adjustment is, uh, is right on the money. Now there's one other step left which is to adjust mirror three, and we'll do that now. So we're ready to test to make sure the, the third mirror is pointed in the right direction. So I'll just do a test shot. What we're trying to get to here is getting the beam to be right in the center of the lens. And I pressed the tape on there a bit and you can kind of see the out, outline of the lens, but let me just do a test shot here. And it's looking pretty good, actually. So, yeah, and it's definitely right in the center. So we don't actually have to do an adjustment there, but if, if you had to, you could adjust the third mirror here up here. Again, the same kind of orientation with two screws on one side and one on the other uh, to generate a side to side or up left or down right kind of kind of uh, configuration so with that it's looking pretty good now one thing we haven't touched yet is the LED the the red dot so let's do that now and we know that 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 uh, last shot we did was right in the center of the lens so if I come back and adjust the and let me just shuffle my camera around here So if I come back and adjust the, the lens here, and again, you'll, you'll have to play with it because it'll be a little bit of guesswork. So if I adjust that when it's moving it kind of towards the front or back of the laser. So let me try the other one here. And that one gets me pretty close. And now we need to do a little bit on the opposite corner okay so I'll turn the camera back towards the turn the camera back towards the the beam and you can see the red dot is right square in the middle of that uh, of that last shot we did. Now, we're pretty much finished, but let's just do one more thing. And now what we're going to do is we'll put we'll put our piece of of thermal paper with the sticky side up towards the nozzle and Close the laser and we'll do one more test shot. And what we're testing here is to make sure that the, make sure that the laser is coming right out of the center and it's pretty close. I could adjust it if I really wanted to. It's maybe a millimeter uh, to one side, uh, but I think I'll just leave it. I think it's fine. Uh, and it really, as long as it's going through the hole, it doesn't, strictly speaking, doesn't matter because we know that the, the red dot and the laser will be pointed in the same place. So with that, we're, we're going to do uh, a cleaning. Uh, we should clean our, our optics before we fire and then we'll do a test, a test cut uh, just to make sure that we have the power we need. 
So uh, let's uh, let's get to it. Okay, our last step before we do a test is to do a bit of cleaning. And I just use, uh, these are just optical wipes. I buy them by a pack of 100. They're really cheap. I can put a link down below. And when we're, when we're cleaning here, we want to be very careful. We don't press very hard because, uh, first of all, we just did a, an alignment and we'd really hate to kind of throw that out of balance. And so I'll do the first lens. Let me turn the camera and I'll catch, I'll catch lens two down here. And, and finally we'll go to, to this side and we'll catch just a few of the optical elements down here. Certainly the, the mirror, this lens, these lenses, by the way, you can just grab them and pop them out. They're only attached on magnets. So we'll just give that a quick wipe. And it slides back in there. Good mechanical connection. And last, I'll turn this way. With, with what's left of this rag, and you want to do this one last because this is dirty, I'll, I'll normally just kind of rub a bit on the, on the laser tube here to keep it, just keep the grime and, and certainly some of this dirt that, that collects down here that doesn't get sucked out by the fan. And it, so, so there you have it. Our laser is clean, ready for a test cut and uh, we'll give it a go. So there we have it aligned and uh, you know, do a couple of things in, in your workflow for this, always do uh, you know, a few things. First of all, don't touch the optics with your fingers because your fingers have oil and you'll leave prints on the, on the optics. Also try to avoid to touch the optics with uh, the sticky back on the thermal paper. Uh, it's just more to have to clean off. And when you're done your alignment, always run a test print, you saw me do it. And you know, make sure that when you're finished, you clean all the optics again, because you could have left dirt or, you know, there's sometimes dirt off of the thermal paper. It leaves a little puff of smoke, uh, but also fingerprints or anything else that's on there. And you should clean your, your optics on a, I clean mine pretty much weekly because I use my laser a lot, but you can clean them less if you don't use your laser so much. Um, anyway, we have a, an aligned laser, play with it. It might take you two hours the first time. Don't get frustrated, you'll get it. Uh, what I'd suggest is um, start with the laser when it's closely aligned so that you're not you know, starting completely out in left field someplace. And uh, you know, m minor, minor tweaks. Every time you touch an adjustment, make sure it's just a small adjustment so you can see the impact. So adjust and test fire, adjust and test fire and you'll eventually get to success. So with that, we'll call it a video. Hopefully you got something out of it. As always, like and subscribe, smash the bell so that you uh, can get notified of new videos. And uh, we'll see you next time.